Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go out, we're gonna be okay. If all the blue skies fade to gray, we're gonna be okay. Calm your soul. Hold my hand. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Bruna and today, as you can see, we are going to be crocheting a sunburst bag. This one is a cross bag, so it's pretty small. It's 18 by 18 centimeters, seven inches by seven inches. So it's pretty small if you like smaller bags to carry with you when you go out. I don't really like large bags, so I do prefer smaller ones when I go out, so I can just take my phone, my credit card and my headphones and a little snack <laughs> so all this will fit inside of this bag if you are just like me so this bag as you can see is made with this super pretty granny square that i already have on my channel i'll link that in a little eye also in the description if you want to learn how to make it and then if we open the button to see the inside of the bag it has a lining yes i'm going to show you in today's video how to make this lining it's handmade i'm not using a sewing machine to make this lining so if you want to learn i will show you how to make one because a lot of you guys also have asked me to do one without a sewing machine so this is it so i'm going to show you how to do a lining without a sewing machine so yeah this is what we are going to be crocheting today's video i really hope you guys enjoy also if you do enjoy today's video leave a massive thumbs up as you always do also don't forget to subscribe and to turn on the little notification bell to receive a notification every time i post a new video so i really hope you guys enjoy today's video so now let's begin with the tutorial so here we have all the materials we are going to be using for today's project starting with our yarn here so these are the three shades that I'm going to be using and this one is the Iggy from teslan.com I'll link this yarn in the description if you want to check it out it's an incredible yarn super soft easy to crochet with super smooth this is one of my favorite yarns ever so do check it out if you want a great great yarn and also super affordable too this one here is a super fine baby number one yarn so that's the yarn weight for this yarn that I'm using but remember that you can use any other yarn that you want I'm going to be sharing all the measurements here for every thing that I'm doing so that you can use any other yarn weight that you want and then talking here about the yarns we are going to be needing a square that it's 18 by 18 centimeters 7 inches by 7 inches so you can go ahead and make any square that you want with any flower in the middle any design that you want if you want to make this particular one here I have already on my channel so I'll link that in the little eye also in the description if you want to check it out so you can do that before starting this tutorial here it's a super easy granny square this one is a sunburst granny square so if you want to make that I'll have a link for you guys and then you can make it and then you can jump right into this video. Next we have three buttons here. This one is a two centimeters button. I'm not sure if I want to add one button or three buttons right at the top so let's see. <laughs> and then I have a measuring tape to measure everything for you guys. And here we have a small pair of scissors, a tapestry needle and a three millimeters hook. If you want to add a lining, I am going to be showing you in today's video how to do a lining without using a sewing machine. So I'm going to be doing all the sewings by hand. So here I have a 100% cotton fabric in this shade, which matches kind of like the copper here. Usually I would say go for a lining that matches your crochet. This one I think is the perfect one. And then I have here some fabric scissors, thread, sewing needle and a fabric pen. So that's all the materials we are using. So now let's move on into the next step. It's a pretty good size. I wanted to make this bag to fit my phone and some other little things that I usually take with me when I go out. So you can do this size that I'm doing bigger or even smaller. So you can customize this bag to your liking, to however you want. Before we even start sewing the two parts together, we have to cut two pieces of fabric that it's the sizing of our square so that it fits perfectly inside the bag. Also remember to leave the seam allowance. So I'm gonna get here the fabric that I'm using and you wanna make sure that it's double 
so that we can cut both the front and the back together. As you can see, I have the back and the front, so make sure that it's double, the fabric. You wanna place your square right on top. I'm going to be leaving around half a centimeter around my square. If you want, you can pin the square in place and then cut around, or you can use a fabric pen. Now all we have to do is to cut around, remembering to leave the seam allowance. I'm going to be cutting with this zigzag scissors that I have here so that it's not gonna frill very easily. But if you have a normal fabric scissors, you can actually do with this one as well. So here we have the back and the front of our lining, as you can see. I will come back to this. For now, we can just leave this at a side and we can move into crocheting the actual bag. So have the back and the front squares completed and ready to start sewing. Make sure that you also do the weave ins at the back so you can already move on into the next step and you don't have to do that right at the end before you attach your lining. So I'm going to be having my squares with the right side on the outside. So here it's the right side of this square. So I'm going to be turning that and face the table. So now I have the reverse here on the outside, which is facing you guys. And then here I have the reverse of my square. So it's going to be facing the reverse of the other square. So the right side of the square is now facing you, this one and then the right side is here as well. So what we are going to be doing now is create a single crochet row going all the way from this side, bottom, and to the other side so that we can join the squares together. If you wanna do a sewing instead of what I'm going to be doing because I want kind of like a single crochet row on the outside so it creates kind of like a detail. So for the outside of my bag, I want to do with this beautiful copper yarn. So the first thing you wanna do is to create a slip knot and we are going to be attaching this yarn into any of the corners that you want. I'm going to be doing this one here. So we are gonna go right in between the shell, right on top of the chain two. So go through this corner and then the other one from the back. And then you're going to pull up a loop and then you're going to be yarning over and pulling through both loops on the hook. So creating a single crochet just to start the joining of the squares. And then right here, I'm going to be making another one going through the chain two. So we have two single crochets inside the chain two space. And remember that we are grabbing the two parts together. So now we are going to be starting to follow the stitches that we have here. So first you're going to be finding the very first stitch. So here we have the three double crochets. So the very first one from the front and then the other one from the back and creating a single crochet. Going to the next one from this side and then from the other and single crochet and then the next one from the front and the other one from the back and single crochet when you get into the chain one spaces you're gonna go around it like this and then creating a single crochet exactly how we did with the chain two here and then here we have already the stitches that we can see and then you're just going to be following the same steps. So I'm going to be doing all the way to the bottom and then I'll get back to you when I'm here so I can show you what to do at the bottom of the bag. So as you can see, I have finished the single crochets on this side. So now we are going to move on into the bottom of the bag. So when you get to the bottom corner, 
all you have to do is to create two single crochets inside the chain two exactly the same as we did to the beginning here and then from here you're going to be following exactly the same as we were doing on this side So I'm finished here with the bottom, so now you're going to move on into the next corner and you're going to be following the same steps. So first creating the two single crochets inside the corner, right on top of the chain two space and then from here follow the same here on the other side. So I got here at the top, what I have to do now is just to create the same two single crochets into this corner so it's exactly the same as the other side. I'm a bit confused, I don't know what, what I want to do now. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna do the single crochets all the way around here, the opening of the bag, so that it has the same detail as the sides and the bottom. This time we are not sewing the two together, we are just getting one of the pieces and working our single crochets into this side. So you're going to find the very first stitch and then single crochet. The next one, single crochet, the following one. Where you have the chain one space, you're going to be doing one on top. And then where you have here the three double crochets, you're going to be following the stitches and creating single crochets right on top. Just following that same step all the way to the other side. When you get to the other side, you will find the two corners together. So I'm going to be doing two single crochets inside this very first corner. And then right on top of the single crochets here, you can see here a little bit better, right on top of the very first single crochet, I'm doing another single crochet and then move into the next corner and create two single crochets and then from here we can just follow the same as we did on the other side when you get to the other corner just create two single crochets and then you're going to be finding a stitch from the single crochets that it's going down and then you're going to be creating a slip stitch just to connect the sides together. So I'm going to chain one, cut the yarn and fasten off and you can already weave in this yarn here on the inside of the bag so you don't have to do that later. So here we have the main part of the bag completed. It's nearly finished everyone. This bag is super, super quick to make. But before I move on into the next step, I would like to introduce you guys to today's video sponsor, Skillshare. If you haven't heard about Skillshare before, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands and thousands of classes that includes a combination of video lessons and class projects on topics including illustration, art, design, marketing, photography, video editing, freelancing and also crafts. So no matter what your interests are, you will definitely find something different and fun to learn on Skillshare. So currently I am taking an amazing class by Lauren Cox and it's called Interior Design Basics, Simple Steps to Your Perfect Space. The reason why I'm taking this class is that we are going to be moving very soon to a new home and I'm all about checking classes and videos on interior design to get inspired inspired and to find my own style and this class is helping me so so much and what I love the most about this class is that Lauren shows many different ways on how to transform your home no matter what your style and budget is and she also gives a lot of tips also printable reference guides for you to use in the future and in this class I am learning now how to identify my personal style which is what I want to know and which is also I'm so confused about and I that's why I'm taking this this class so that it helps me to find what style I want to decorate my house with and also the color palette she gives a lot of information and how to choose a color palette that it's unique for you also to create a sense of rhythm and balance in your 
your home and also how to choose pieces you will love for a lifetime and that's my thing i love buying things that i can use for years and years so she gives a lot of really nice tips so if you want to learn more about interior design i really recommend you guys checking out this class it's very very inspiring as well as this class there are many others that you can get inspired and in learning even more about different subjects so if you are interested skillshare it's very affordable it's less than ten dollars a month with the annual subscription especially when you compare taking in-person classes for one topic with Skillshare you get unlimited classes that you can switch to any subject you want at any time and because Skillshare is sponsoring today's video with the link in my description the very first 1000 of you guys to click in the link will get a free trial of the premium membership so you can explore your creativity learn new things and get inspired just like me so thank you so so much Skillshare for sponsoring in today's video and now let's continue with our project so before i do the straps i want to do the lining first because then the bottom of the bag is ready and then we just have to do the straps and attach the buttons in place and the very first thing we are going to be doing is sewing the sides and the bottom of the lining and then the top here we are going to be doing a little bit different because we have to see where the buttons are gonna go and then we have to fold it and then sew the lining in place already so get your thread and needle ready i'm going to be using a double thread on my needle because i think that's a bit stronger than a single thread that was noisy <laughs> i don't usually get a super long thread because it get tangled so just get a good size and then you can just add more if you need to I'm going to be making a little knot here at the end. I usually do like a double knot. Once you have your thread and needle ready, we can now start the sewing. I'm going to be starting here and then work my way to the bottom and to the other side. So first we are going to be bringing the needle forward into the corner. And then we are going to be leaving a little space in between the stitch so that we can create the very first sewing stitch. So go through that stitch and take the needle back. So you have the first stitch here. So now you're going to be leaving a little space again and you're going to be going through the back and bringing the needle forward just like this. And to create the back stitch so it's nice and secured and you have a super nice sewing going around you're gonna go back through the previous stitch right here as you can see right kind of at the end of the previous stitch and go through that stitch and take your needle back so again you're going to be leaving a little space in between the stitches bring the needle forward and then you can take it back again through the previous stitch. And that's it. A easier way to do this back stitch method, sewing method, it's first you're going to be bringing the needle forward. And then you're gonna go through the previous stitch and you're already going to come out right at the front leaving the same space so that you can do two stitches at the same time so go through the previous and come out right at the front so you can do already the next stitch you can see this one it's way easier and also it's way quicker this way so that's another method that you can do to fasten off and add a new yarn, all you have to do is to take the needle back and then here at the back you're going to fasten off and then you can go ahead and cut the thread and then you can bring the next one. So that's how I do mine. So I'm going to be continuing here with my sewing 
all the way here at the bottom and on the other side and then once I have it completed I will be back so that I can show you what to do next. So the sewing is done as you guys can see here. This is my right side. This is the reverse. <laughs> it takes a little bit of time to do this because it's by hand. With the sewing machine this would be super quick but I really wanted to show you how to do it one by hand because you always ask me how to. So it's super simple as you saw just so the sides and the bottom now you have to try on the bag so just make sure that it fits inside the bag as you guys can see it fits perfectly to place the lining inside the bag you're going to be having the lining on the reverse and you're going to be placing the lining just like this with the reverse on the outside with the reverse of the bag so you're going to be just inserting the lining just like this reverse with reverse the right side of the lining will be on the inside of the bag so you can see the right side is going to be on the outside so when people see the inside of the bag it's going to be the right side so it's going to be pretty so once you have your lining ready and that it fits inside the bag now we are going to be sewing the lining on the inside of the bag here i want to leave a little space right here at the at the top maybe two rows so that i can add the buttons so i think i'm going to be doing that much so i am folding here at the top around three centimeters so that it can go nicely inside the bag so once you know exactly how much you have to fold just insert the lining back inside the bag i'm gonna be using some pins i think yeah because it's gonna help me to sew this in place put the lining exactly where you're going to be sewing and then you want to pin the lining in place with the bag just like this and i'm going to be doing it all the way around Make sure that the lining goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. So now we have here at the top two rows showing so that we can use for the buttons. And now we can start sewing the lining in place. Get your thread and needle. So choose a place to start. I'm going to be doing it right here. So insert your needle where you want to start. I usually leave the knot on the inside between the crochet and the lining and all we have to do it's very simple everyone you're just gonna grab one little stitch from the crochet and a little bit of the fabric and then you're going to be sewing the two together and then you're just going to be repeating the same steps all the way around so you're going to be grabbing a little bit of the crochet, a little bit of the lining, and you're going to be sewing it together. For this part, you want to have a lot of patience because you want to make very tiny stitches. You don't want to, to do large stitches when sewing because you don't want the sewing to show right at the top of the lining. So you want it to do as seamless as possible. So I am doing very tiny sewing stitches going around here my lining at the top so now i'm just going to be continuing here with my sewing and then i'll meet you right at the end to show you how to fasten off once you are done with the sewing we are just going to now fasten off and cut the thread that's the last thing you have to do for the lining how fun I'm going to be using the same thread here, this one, to sew my buttons in place. So here we have the bag with the lining completed. As you can see, it looks really, really good. I really liked it doing it by hand. It was long but fun at the same time. <laughs> so now I'm going to be attaching my buttons in place before I do the strap because I have the yarn ready here. 
So I'm not sure if I do three buttons or only one. Maybe just one button. Maybe two, three. So I'm gonna do one button for now. I decided that I wanna do one button and then maybe when I'm wearing it, if I need to add two more, then I can. But for now, I'm just gonna do one. So I'm gonna go right in the middle of my bag. So it's one, two, three, four, the fifth stitch. So right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew this button in place. the button is in place so one two three four fifth to stitch there we go okay yeah I like that I like the one button I think if we add two more here it's too much it still looks super look at that it looks so cute I'm like attempted to add two more buttons so now let's do the last thing we have to do which is the straps, which is super simple. I'm gonna do with single crochets and I'm gonna do with these two yarns. So the cream and the copper together. And I'm gonna use the same hook that I've been using, which is the three millimeters hook. So put the two yarns together. And then with these two, you're going to be doing a slip knot. So for my straps, I want to do three stitches. So this one here in the middle counts as one. So choose one before that and one after. So this one is going to be the very first one. Create a single crochet to attach that yarn in place. And then you're going to go right on top of the middle stitch here. So this is going to be the second one and then go one right after so three single crochets and then you're going to chain one turn project and then you're going to go right into the very first one and create the very first single crochet and then go into the second one and then the third and last one chain one turn project Go into the very first one, single crochet, the second and the third one. So every time you go up, you will have three single crochets. So remember to cover all the three stitches. So it's two centimeters, as you can see. So it's pretty thin. You can do even thinner than this or a little bit thicker if you want. So that's all you have to do. So I'm going to be continuing here with my single crochets going up until I have the sizing of the strap I want. So here I have my strap completed and I've done 196 rows in total of single crochets. So once you have the sizing that you want, we can now fasten off. Make sure that you leave just a little bit of yarn here at the end so we can sew the end to the bag which is the next step that we are going to be doing and it's the last one. Oh my God, I'm so excited because it looks so pretty. You don't need a lot of yarn, guys. It's just a little bit. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Ah, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just so excited. <laughs> so fasten off. I'm going to be threading this yarn into my tapestry needle. Make sure that the strap is not twisted. So the strap is just like this, as you can see. So we are going to be placing the strap here on the side of the bag where the strap is gonna go. And here is where we are going to be sewing. Make sure that you get the same stitches as the other side. So I'm gonna get this one here first. And I'm just gonna go through that stitch one more time, grabbing the very first stitch here from the strap. 
So now go through the middle stitch with the side of the bag, exactly what we did on the other side. And then sew the two together. And then the last stitch with the last stitch here from the bag. Go through that last stitch one more time. This is how it looks like, as you can see. That's the only thing that I do. So now I'm going to fasten off and weave in both of these yarns and then I will come back and show you the finished bag. All right, everyone, we are done with the bag. Just look at it. Oh my God, it looks so pretty. I love this strap so, so much. It's so pretty and it complements so well the bag. Look at that because we have both the colors in the strap. So I really, really love it. I don't know about you guys, but I love it. Let me know in the comments. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to wear this out because it's just so perfect. It's the perfect size for me because I don't like carrying large bags. I love, love smaller bags because they are not heavy. And then I can just take my phone, my card, my headphones, and that's it. <laughs> a little snack and that's it <laughs> so yeah it fits my phone inside which is amazing does it close yes it does huh look at that my phone is inside as i wanted you can see inside we still have a lot of space even with my massive phone inside the bag so yeah pretty good size so yeah, everyone, we are done with today's tutorial. As you can see, this is how the bag looks and I'm pretty happy on how it turned out. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on this one. And if you end up making one following my video, don't forget to tag me if you post any pictures on Instagram. I love seeing everything that you guys do. I always give a lot of love when you guys tag me so don't forget to tag me if you post on instagram or facebook and if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up as you always do also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch more videos like this one so thank you everyone for watching today's video and i'll see you next week bye